It's done. I got every pal. Other pal decks lie. They didn't catch them all. They don't care about you or the game. They only care about rushing bad content out for money. But now we can go over the full pal deck. And as you can see, there's over 130 of these things. If I spend just 30 seconds on each of them, we're here for over an hour. So I'm just going to show off a little bit. You can see the stats. Maybe I'll talk about some noteworthy ones. Also possible drops and then the partner skill. But yeah, this is going to be a while. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, share with your friends, comment your thoughts down below. Also subscribe because I am going to be bringing the best PAL world content there is. So yeah, we got Lamball, Kativa. Uh, we got, while in team, Kativa helps carry supplies, increasing the player's max carrying capacity. This is the GOAT for the beginning. Also mining, handiwork, transporting, really good. Egg layer, sometimes lays an egg when assigned to a ranch. So that means you just get a transport gathering dude, put that in a chest somewhere, boom. Nice way to get some cooking supplies. Uh, nothing else really noteworthy. Life Monk, when activated, leaps on player's head and uses a submachine gun to follow up player's attacks. So yeah, this thing gets a gun before you in the game. Also has a lot of work suitability. Fox Sparks, adorable little guy right here. Uh, you can unlock its partner skill that turns into a flamethrower. It's just going to be good for getting that early game smelting. And you can also farm it for flame organs, which you will need. Thwack. This guy is surprisingly helpful. Just handiwork, transporting, watering. He's actually not going to get caught up with like too many bad tasks. So he'll craft when you need, he'll transport when you need. Then the plants, they'll get watered. And he has a lot of downtime to kind of fill it in. When activated, Thwack body surfs towards an enemy and slams into them. Also a good way of getting PAL fluids. That's kind of how the water types work. Then spark it. Another great one. Like just going to do the work that needs to be done. Not going to get caught up on any kind of like other base shenanigans. Then we'll generate electricity. While in team increases the attack power of electric PALs. Now I haven't gotten into like that crazy combat towards like, oh yeah, just increasing attack power passively and then doing all kinds of crazy things. So spark it, pretty cool. Tansy, again, gets a gun before you, has all kinds of partner skills for that suitability, and then just a little grass monkey dude. Ruby, while in team, increases the attack po power of fire pals, also kindling, so it's kind of a different kind of fox sparks if you want it. Pengullet, it, it becomes a cannon, so yeah, it will explode and become incapacitated, but it does a crazy amount of damage. Also provides cooling to get ice organs, pal fluids pretty early on. Ping King, not an evolution. There's no evolutions in this game, and even says that, you know, uh, unrelated to Pengullet, and then just a bigger boy that has mining level two, handiwork level two. So you find these. Actually, that also kind of like comes down to the other things we're gonna be doing can do the habitat uh sometimes these hatch from large eggs i believe and just a very useful pal but then my other guy's gonna be showing like how to get all the types how to get all the pals so that's why you want to stick around also since i'm just gonna be doing so much content and if you guys are excited to play the game please use code verlicify for 20 percent off your g fuel order caffeine is the only thing keeping me alive right now as i do insane amounts of content i've already played the game over 30 well around 30 hours to actually like complete the decks i consider myself an energy drink enthusiast and this is the best energy drink i've found for working gaming and anything else i'm going to need energy for also the focus complex really good check it out code for spot for 20 percent off now we can get back to this. Also, since we're going to be here for a while, I hope you enjoy Forest Interlude from Donkey Kong Country 2. So we have Jolthog Christ. So now we, I also like, yeah, different uh, things while fighting together. Fire pals drop more items when defeated. Really good pal to have to, for that extra bit of farming. Jolthog equips Jolthog to the player's hand and then throws it like an electrical grenade. So that will stun enemies. And then there's different types. So... As far as I can tell, and as far as like some fans have confirmed, I have found like all the naturally occurring types as well as all of the actual base pal species, which is why this is the best pal deck video. Maybe there's like some special combinations for certain species that can be discovered through breeding. But yeah, you can find a subspecies, it's explained in the game, and sometimes the partner skills change, but for the most part they're going to be the same. So Cold Bomb, it'll be an icy explosion, and then it provides cooling instead. Gumos, um, improves the efficiency of cutting trees, just gonna be a planter, there you go. Vixie, 
digs up items from the ground when assigned to the ranch, gathering, farming. Just a cute, cute little pal over here. Hookrates increases the power of Dark Pals to get that. And then a high-grade technical manual. So you actually run out of technology points just going all the way to level 50. So uh, farming those might be pretty nice, especially if you can, can kind of like synergize with other pal and partner skills. So when activated, uh, spouts mysterious water that soothes and restores player hit points. There's no food that like restores hit points. So you're going to need pal abilities to do that. And this is going to be it on the t fan. So cool little pal just does watering, support, all kinds of different things going on in this. Caffeine inoculation. When activated, Depresso drinks a massive amount of energy drinks, causing its movement speed to increase. Dang, I should have saved that for the G Fuel plug. I, I wasn't thinking there, but yeah. Mining, handiwork, transporting. Good pal right here. Venom gland, kind of need to farm those out at some point. So we have Creamy, uh, Fluffy Wool. While on team, increased packed attack power of neutral pals. Also drops wool when assigned to the ranch. So that's going to be really nice to have because wool for the cloth needed to get a lot of uh, resources and making armor. So Daydream, very unique. Dream Chaser, while in team, appears near the player, follows up player's attacks with magic bullets. And I believe you need to unlock this one. Yeah, so the Daydream necklace. So you unlock that one and then that's going to work and you got some work suitability but it's mostly like oh you can have two pals active at once as long as them one of them is a daydream rush or can be ridden so one of your earlier rides increases the efficiency of destroying boulders while mounted good for farming also just a miner to throw into your base and leather bones bones also needed to make like cement and some mid to late game stuff good for farming stuff like that Nox. When fighting together, applies dark damage to the player's attacks. So yeah, there's a type, circle, tree effectiveness thing. If you need that dark damage to kind of work in for specific matchups, it's going to be really good for the knocks. And then also drops pal souls. Really nice. Fuddler. Handiwork. Transporting. Mining. Leather drops. When activated, generates sub subtle vibrations to detect nearby ore. Not really that useful. Not hard to find ore. But just a cool, cool little dude over here. Kilimari, uh, gathering, transporting. Also, transporting level two. So this will help if you start to like fall behind because your production gets too good. And then it'll just kind of gather things around and move it. So pretty good. Friend squid, while in team, can be summoned and used instead of a glider. Can float for long periods of time while gliding. That's also going to be very helpful early on. Mao is interesting. You can just use it for farming to get gold coins. It doesn't really give a lot of them, and there's much better gold farming, so kind of just a forgettable pal. Maybe you find the design interesting, but yeah, just kind of it. And we have Mal Christ, so sapphires. Sometimes digs up gold coins when assigned to the ranch, so same thing, but can also drop sapphires. So find those in the wild. It has a rare drop that sells to merchants pretty well. Celeray, watering, transporting. So once again, just like another power, it's like it's either watering or it's helping around. That's pretty cool. And it can be used instead of a glider. These are very common early on on the beaches. So that's going to give you that. And then you can move quickly for long periods of time while gliding with this pal. Pretty helpful. Dire Howl, another one that can be ridden slightly faster than other mounts. And you get the technology pretty early on for that one. Doesn't really work in the base. Can drop some money value stuff. So might be worth catching or killing. And yeah, I think that, I think the design looks really cool. Like some, as I was playing the game, like pals would run over and help me or I'd see some pals in the wild. I'm just like, wow, these are actually like some really, really cool designs. I like them a lot. Uh, Toko Toko. Drops gunpowder. Going to need that for ammunition. Egg bomb launcher. Um, it's an egg launcher when you get the technology upgrade for it or it's like saddle. I didn't use it. I think it's kind of like a silly, stupid, derpy looking bird, but yeah. Well, it's interesting how like the animation lines up sometimes. It, it almost has like jiggle physics in the deck. So we have Floppy, while in team, appears near the player, automatically picks up nearby items. Ah, yeah, so that, that kind of like shows from the trailer what you have. It's like, oh yeah, it can uh, just kind of help out as another part of your team. It's very similar to Life Monk in, in terms of utility. We have Mozzarina. So, yep, milk. Produces milk on the ranch. 
you need that for recipes, cooking, making cake for breeding, there you go. It's a fat, sleepy looking cow. Milk pours from his pal like water from an open faucet, regardless of its gender. Truly a mystery of life, although this mystery may be better left unsolved. There you go. We have Brisla, while in team, increased attack power of grass. And then again, we just kind of have like medicine production level two, so slightly better at that. Then planting and stuff kind of helps around. Good to have just for like farming and taking care of different things. Water, hand handiwork, transporting, watering level two. Get a gobfin and then you upgrade your watering. When activated, attacks target an enemy with power a powerful aqua gun while in team increases the player's attack power. So I didn't play around with this guy too much, but like free attack power and also good combat. Yeah, that could work. You can find a fire form of this guy later on in the game. So it gives you level two kindling. Hang you. Uh, yeah, it can rip apart iron as a particularly cruel form of execution. Serious criminals would be strung up in a public square and hang you would tear the skin right from their bones. While in team can be summoned and used instead of a glider, carries a player high while gliding and then does some other things, drops fiber, level two transporting. So cheeky, che cheeky little weird dude over there. Same thing right here for the ice type. Mossanda has a grenade launcher. So once again, like earlier access than what you naturally unlock for weapons for yourself does have a long cooldown can be ridden, and then also lumbering level 2, transporting level 3, handiwork level 2. These things are tanky and dangerous and pretty tough to catch in the early game, but very rewarding to have one on your team. There's also an electric one that spawns as a boss in one of the starter er areas. We also have Wooly Pop. So cotton candy, when assigned to the ranch, drops cotton candy and high quality pal oil. You're going to need a lot of high quality pal oil, so stock up on that, either catching or killing these things when you see them. That's my advice right there. Capriti, uh, berry picker, sometimes drops berries when assigned to the ranch. So at least it like kind of tells you which one is going to drop what, depending on like the farming and fun stuff like that. I think he's cool. Cool little like bush goat pal, I like it. Melpaca, so drops wool when assigned to the ranch, level one, wool leather farming. It's a pink alpaca. Uh, and then we have Eichther Deer. I never got that pronunciation. Lumbering level two. Lumbering level two. There's a terror form of it. Double jump while mounted. It increases the efficiency of cutting trees. It's just a different kind of form, but pretty cool. Big, big old deer po- not- I don't, I don't want to call him Pokemon, but pal. Can be ridden as a flying mount, one of your earlier flying mounts. Very nice to have. Then you can just kind of fly around with it. Rebunny. So, Rebunny is a cute little rabbit, kind of Sylveon looking thing. But it increases the power of neutral pals, while at base increases work efficiency if working at a weapon station. So, this is happy- and quick to manufacture guns for you. Food for thought. On Cineram, cool looking guy. When activated, attacks target with a powerful Hellfire Claw. Two handiwork, two transporting, one mining, one kindling. Really good, like utility, well rounder. We also have a dark version of this one. So just kind of like losing the kindling. And then has the uh, Dark Claw Hunter. So gonna be in the. Uh, Nature preserves where you get wanted if you go there. Planting, medicine production, honey, lettuce seeds on the Cinemoth. These things are common. These things are found a lot in like the uh, not quite beginner area, but as you get like transition into the mid game, but not quite into the mid game. When activated, tax target with a poison fog. Poison, good status effect. R socks, level two kindling. You can get a hold of it kind of early on. Nice to have. Can also do some lumbering if you need it and keeps the rider warm in cold environments really good so you ride it and then you don't have to worry about having the armor that keeps you warm do mud while in team increases the attack power of ground pals watering mining transporting high quality oil a lot of people are like yeah it's kind of like a quagsire silly little dude cognito this is a cool pal but it doesn't really do anything it teleports and then hits him with a phantom peck it's got lumbering there you go. 
But it, it, it has that cool design, you know? Plague Doctor, little dude, long go, freely sword the skies. After losing contest with Gale Claw, abandoned the skies, now lives a secretive life in the dark of night. So, not every pal is, like, super useful, but, I mean, I do like the designs, and the more I play the game, the more I found these to be charming, and a lot of them to kind of stand out and be their own. It's like, wow, pal world is awesome like that. Lee's Punk. Uh, utilizes Sixth Sense to detect nearby dungeons. Dungeons aren't super hard to find, but they are pretty nice. Copper Key, Silver Key, Chest Unlocking, also pretty good. So, Punk. And then Fire Punk, that'll hatch from Fire Eggs. And can just kind of be found around. Kindling, Handiwork Gathering. Yeah, just dude. Loot Moon. This. This is another kind of goat. You, you find him pretty easily. Uh, can be found at night, so if you haven't seen one, that's going to be it. And then can be found all over here. Catch them, put them on a station. Handiwork level 2 early on will carry all of your crafting needs. Gale Claw can be summoned instead of glider. Allows you to fire a gun while gliding with this pal. And that was shown in the trailers, so that's nice to have, where you're just gliding around and then, boom. Uh, Hawkeye, while fighting together, allows you to deal more damage to weak points. That's a really good effect. Also just kind of has tons of utility for your base. Robin Quilterra, that's going to be more late game. Kind of the same thing, weak point damage. Go Real Rat. So when activated, unleashes a Primal Fury that increases the attack power. Handiwork, Lumbering, level 3 transporting though. So again, if you're falling behind, this guy will get it done. And we have Bee Guard Elizabeth. Again, looks like evolutions, but not related. Worker B drops honey when assigned to ranch while on team. Elizabeth's stats will be increased. I haven't played a ranch. Like, I guess there's there's so many, like, build opportunities. I just, like, rushed to the end game, found all the locations, caught all the pals, have, like, just a base that barely scraped by to craft all the end game stuff. But if you actually, like, go out and, like, and you can see the capture bonus. I haven't, like, maxed out any capture bonus. So if you go out, catch a lot of pals, farm for good traits and stuff. There could be some really interesting team compositions. Like, do you go four B guard, a fifth Elizabeth, and then maybe have like really cool perks on it, and it's actually insanely strong? Also has a lot of utility, but just kind of like gets stuck on lumbering or something. Grintail. Yeah. Uh, it, like so, its eyes light up the moment anyone enters its territory. This is no figure of speech. Its eyes literally light up. So. We got a big old Chesh Cheshire Cat pal grinning. Uh, can be ridden. Enhances neutral attacks while mounted. So that's kind of neat. And then high quality pal oil. So it doesn't really do much. But I think, I think this is a cool, whimsical design. We got Swee and Sweepa. Uh, Sweepa stats will be increased. So kind of the same thing as Bee Guard right here. Cooling Gathering. That's another interesting thing. Like, or like Bee Guard and Elizabeth. As I was playing through it, I was actually, like, trying to remember the pals' names and call them accurately and get invested into this, which is very good. Especially when you see something like Chillit. Chillit, one of the earlier uh, boss pals you're going to encounter, and it's cute. Can ride, applies dragon damage, and gives you a little bit of cooling. Not really too helpful on the base, but will be a nice pal to have fight alongside you because it has those extra benefits from being a boss. Univolt can be ridden, electric damage while mounted. Level 2 electricity, fun stuff. Foxicle, level 2 cooling. That's a cool looking design. I really like that. And then increases the power of Ice Pals. So, really cool on the Foxicle. Pyrin, or Pyrin, applies fire damage, so like the fire type. Univolt has kindling level 2. Smelt your ores faster, can be found around. All that fun stuff. Pyrin knocked, level 2. And will be found at night. So, same sp uh, spot, stuff like that. Adds dark typing. Fun things like that. Raindrix. Big ol' floofy boy right here. Uh, keeps the rider cool in hot environments. So as you can see, there's a lot of pals that like provide utility. Have overlap with other pals. This is ice. Ar Arsox, uh, effectively. Still has lumbering level 2. Cooling. Ice organs. And venison. Rayhound. Double jump while riding it. Generation level 2 on electricity. And again, depending on your team compositions, are you amplifying electric damage? Do you think this guy is just cool and you want to have a friend? Boom. Kitsun. 
Clear mind can be ridden unaffected by cold or heat while riding this pal. Size is just the best one right there. You, you find yourself a Kitson and then like you are goaded in the end game. When you try to make like a monster collecting game, you have like the Kitsune kind of thing. It's going to be a really cool design. Dazzy uh, follows up the attacks with lightning bolts. Provides like a little bit of utility. Cloud pal. Lunaris. Anti-gravity while on team. Manipulates gravity, increasing the max carrying capacity. Also, handiwork three. It will get the work done in your base. Uh, the actual anti-gravity, not crazy. Level one, I think, is only an 80 encumbrance. Whereas if you use Kativa, it's going to be 50. So yeah, you think something like this is like legendary almost. Nah, not, not crazy. Uh, then we have Dinosum, two planting, two lumbering. That's good to have. You, you get Dinosum, kind of tricky to catch. A little, little bulky of a boy right here. And then you can get some good planting to keep all your pals fed. Then it goes on, chops trees, boom. This can do the same thing with electricity. Uh, we also have Dinosum, so enhances grass attacks, enhances electrics while mounted. So a little bit of a change right there. Surfants. Prevents stamina depletion while moving over water. Gonna need this for the water travel. Especially if you can get one uh, early on. Not really too difficult. Not really too hard to find. Then you can use that to kind of go out to the areas. The uh, wildlife sanctuaries. And you don't have to worry about your stamina. Surfantera. Can be ridden. Just kind of does things over the sand. Alright. Pal fluid drops. So a lot of things to take note of. Applies dark damage while mounted, while ridden. Gathering, mining, nothing too crazy. Something's off about this design to me. Like, it has a cool name, Mare Wraith, but... It's a thing, I guess. Dig Toys. A lot of people liking this dude. Really good for mining. Performs a shell spin. Follows the player while spinning. Mines ores efficiently. Does crazy damage. Gets ore, high quality pal oil from the drops. And level 3 mining. No problems. Never worry about anything. Tomb Bat. Uh, I did my tips and tricks video. This guy got the feature. Level 2 transporting, level 2 mining, level 2, level two gathering. The goat. Found all over. Really great for the early game. Groovy little dude. Love Ander. Another silly, like, bro. Seeking a Knight of Love, it's always chasing someone around. At first, it only showed interest in other pals. In recent years, even humans have become the target of its debauchery. They made the super sexy pal. And it, they're, they're shameless about it. Even like the gameplay and how all that goes out. It drops cake. It drops suspicious and strange juices. And I find it just charming in its own way. Like they... The, the way it struts around, there's so much personality in a lot of these pals, and, you know, it's not terrible. Like, it, it went from completely me complete meme to actually a decent design. Well played. Level 2 handiwork, level 2 transporting. Nice to have. Uh, while fighting together, grants the player and Love Ender lifesteal, which absorbs some received damage and restores hit points. I haven't played around with it, but yeah, like, could also be really good for combat utility. A lot of fun builds to try around and team builds and stuff. Sometimes produces flame organs when assigned to the ranch. Going to need those for a lot of different crafting. Van Worm can be ridden. Increases weak point damage while mounted. Van Worm Crist, same thing. Cooling, transport. A lot of transport, a lot of kindling. Interesting, like, wyvern design. Bushi. So I'm not a fan of, like, humanoid Pokemon. Just dude looking thing so this doesn't even work for me when, when it comes to pal world but level two kindling level three lumbering uh yeah and then it has a powerful slash so like very powerful pal i just think it doesn't look that great beacon looks cool ridden as a flying mount electric damage players attacks electricity transporting fun stuff we have the fire type ragnahawk level three kindling level three transporting it's just a super duper useful pal when you think about it. it it's going to smelt, and if it's not smelting, it's moving crazy amounts of stuff. And good luck. Oh, yeah, it's, it's nighttime. <laughs> go go find it in the volcano. Good luck. Catch rest. Another cool looking pal. That's just an awesome design. Level 2 handiwork. And this is where you start getting into some other interesting things. While fighting together, neutral pals drop more items when defeated. 
you can actually use this against legendary neutral pals and get even more drops. Fun stuff. So, like, the, the idea behind farming. So, using Catrus, and Lovander isn't legendary. Also, it's number 69 in decks. Nice. Uh, you can get cake drops at a higher rate while fighting Lovander to then use it for breeding. So, like, the farming interactions of certain pals, very interesting to consider. Wixen. Applies fire damage, players attacks, level 3 handiwork, level 2 kindling, level 2 transport. Level 3 handiwork of this really, really cool design, making it even better. Technical manual, all kinds of really cool pals. Like, that's, that's awesome. Verdash. Got hype, grass rabbit, planting, level 3 handiwork. While, while fighting together, increases players' movement speed, applies grass damage to the player's attacks. Probably helps with stamina. Really good for kiting. Maybe reloading and some stuff like that. Veilet. Find together ground pals. Drop more items when defeated. Things to note. Level 3 medicine production. I haven't found a crazy use for medicine production. After that, we have Sibilix. When activated, attacks target with a powerful blizzard spike. High quality cloth when assigned to the ranch. I should have read that because I was in desperate need of high quality cloth. That's a drop, but also just a ranch thing. So you put it there and then you get a lot of that and then you don't have to worry. Oops. So, yeah. Uh, take note. Elphadran. Adorable. And then a holy dra amicable holy dragon. Wait, what? Lumber two, uh, level 2 lumbering. High quality pal oil. Dark pals drop more items when defeated. So again, like, oh, dark farming with this dude. Very powerful. Very nice. Uh, Kelpsy. Cool little thing. Kelpsy Ignis. Um, attack power of water pals. Attack power of fire pals. Azure robe. Applies water damage while mounted. Level 3 watering. Also drops cloth. Cool design. Uh... You get all kinds of vibes here. But yeah, this your rub's nice. Prowlinx. It's crazy looking dude. Uh, we have, while fighting together, dragon pals drop more items when defeated. So there is a dragon augmenting pal, which is nice because it's a nice type. So you have those super effective hits. Level 3 cooling. Will hold down the base. Blaze Howl. So we have big, fiery crazy dude right here can be ridden while fighting together grass pals drop more items i should have had this out when i was farming pal oil because we're going to get to memorist that would have actually been really nice to have level three kindling will get your ores smelted very fast blaze hell knocked level three neutral pals drop more items when defeated so i wonder if that's actually a higher amount because I was just doing it with the uh, Catress, but this could drop more, and that could actually be even crazier. So, not even too hard to find. Tricky to catch, but yeah, there we go. Relaxaurus, shown in the trailers. You can mount rocket launchers to it, and the missile launch. It's actually kind of crazy. This dude's deep into the tech tree. Level 44. For someone shown in the trailer launching missiles. Very powerful. Lux, same thing, level 3 energy generation, level 2 watering, high quality pal oil, so if you see a lot of these guys, you can farm it for the pal oil. Gonna need tons of that for the late game, I keep saying that, so it's like, it's a mix of my game experience getting here to catching all the pals, then just kind of showing them off, talking a little bit. Bron Cherry. That's friend shaped. Bron Cherry's a fine design, and I, I'm better than fine, good design, you know. Like, that's just a nice, pleasant monster to look at. Planting level 3. Can be ridden, helps carry supplies, increasing max carrying capacity. Didn't check how much, but carrying capacity, always good, especially because it's just passive on team. Same thing for the water one, watering level three. Nice. We have Patilia, or yeah, Patalia. Uh, we when activated, uses medicinal fla flowers to restore players' hit points. So we have better than Tfant. Upgrade. Might just work out for you. Reptyro and Ice Reptyro. So improves the efficiency of mining ores while mounted. So you can use their attacks and just 
crush and get a lot of mining done really quick. Which actually probably means like, yeah, you want a couple of bronze cherries on your team, increase that carrying capacity, mine multiple ores, make some big ore trips, especially for like coal or something. Then do you want fire if you want mining? Bro, level three of each. Cracked. King Paka increases carrying capacity. Kind of it. Big. Just big. I don't know if the ice does more. So that's when it's like more stats or potential data mining or documentation. But yeah. There you go. Memorist. Tough. Tough customer right here. Proves the efficiency of cutting trees and mining ores while mounted. So you just kind of run over everything. Gather tons of supplies. Big. Memorist Crist. Same thing. Mining, cooling, higher level. Different type. Wumpo. Carrying capacity. Man, I did see this is helping me. Cause I just like I think the design is whatever. I don't care for it too much. But uh oh wait, max carrying capacity. Also three lumbering, two handiwork, four transport. Jeez. Sheesh. War sect. Three lumbering, three transporting. Drops honey. Fire damage to players attack. Increases player defense while fighting together. This could have like, you probably want to get this and then take on the ice areas a lot easier. Would have helped my adventure. But no. Fang lope, double jump. Double jump really good. Fell bad. Lifesteal. So, better lifesteal effect than Lovander. Medicine production, potentially. And then, got a different kind of dark cry looking dude. And then my favorite pal in the entire game. Quivern melts my heart. Adorable. I love it so much. Sleeping while cu cuddling with Wyvern is said to be a heavenly experience. There are some who have been crushed by it and sent to heaven that toss and turn in their sleep. Never change, pal world. They they launched as Pokemon with guns and then like RimWorld and Arc Inspiration. And they just they, it just turned into an incredible gaming experience overall. Can be ridden as a flying mount. Enhances dragon attacks while mounted. Good. Like... It, it's just powerful dragon, got some mining handiwork, good transporting, you fly around. It feels faster than some of the other flying mounts, and it's adorable. I love him. Blazemut. Uh, so now we're now we're just like getting into legendaries and pseudo legendaries, or just like extra powerful pals. So can be ridden, enhances fire attacks while mounted. Level three kindling, level four mining, huge. Okay, Hell Zephyr, maybe not. And I remember getting this guy early on, so you can find them kind of not that crazy. Level 3 transporting, written as a flying mount, dark damage while mounted. So maybe Blaze much just like bigger, or maybe the dex kind of gets crazy near the end here. And then same thing for this guy. That's built like a boss. Level 4 mining. Drops Pal Metal, drops the final ingot in the game, and some quartz. Increases damage dealt to ore while mounted. Menace Sting. Ha, it's a menace sting. Menacing sting. I just get it. Uh, mining, lumbering. It's like an overworld boss encounter. Also can be found in like the in-game protected areas. Drop some coal. Electric pals drop more items when defeated. That's good. And then increases defense. So yeah, like very powerful pal to have. Anubis. So this was actually shown in the how to get stronger pals. So we got to see like the handiwork, the mining, just crazy drops, large pal souls, innovative technical manuals. Very late game. When fighting together, applies ground damage and then dodges attacks with a sidestep. Very useful to have. Uh, this dude, you can find it as like a big boss overall encounter, level 45 or high level or something. Watering four, travels on water, prevents stamina depletion while moving over water. Same thing for, or not same thing, but we also have like the Ignis form. Kindling 4. Cooks your ores fast. You want this. Enhances fire attacks while mounted while riding. Suzaku, Kindling 3. Enhances fire attacks. Enhances water attacks, watering 3. So we got some crazy ones. Grizzble! Rarest pal in the game. Took me for every catch. I might be trying to load too much, so we don't see his, uh, looks, looks a little naked in that model. 
So yeah, Grizzbolt has a minigun. They love showing it off in the trailer. It's super powerful. Also, I realized going through this, I'm missing two subtypes. Not bad, but like the full dex is complete. So there's that. And then, yeah, uh, loading the entire pal deck. Going to be a little taxing. So there's your boy, Grizzbolt. Big old dude. Friend-shaped. Everyone loves him. Fires a minigun while mounted. Uh, soothing graces. Greatly restore players' hit points. Huge healing. Planting handiwork. Great pal. Also, huge healing. Handiwork. Fun stuff like that. Different typing. Oh, we're getting there, boys. 105. Valeris can be ridden. Ice pals drop more when defeated. Good farming. Kindling transporting. Electric Garchomp. Cool dude. One of the bosses of the towers. While fine together, water pals drop more items. Electricity. Dragon Electric. Pretty neat. Shadow Beak. Also, like, heavy Pokemon. Enhances dark attacks while mounted. Modified DNA. Flying mount. Doesn't have, like, utility. It's just there for the combat. Crazy abilities. Crazy, like, skills and stuff. Pal metal drops. End game. Built like it. Born from the depths of insanity. Very... Oh, yeah. This is also, like, the whole, like, DNA uh, group. The genetic modifiers in the game. Born from depths of insanity. Very existent. Should not be having lost all genetic ties to other pals. One wonders if it could still be, even be considered pal. That's cool. So, yeah. They, they like, took uh, Silvalli to the extreme. Even better. Paldius. So, yeah. Now we're, like... These are... The legendaries and that's what i mean by farming you get more neutral drops for pal metal ingots and diamonds you get more dark drops for pal metal ingots you don't have to make pal metal ingots anymore you just ko these dudes on spawns with enhanced drop rate triple jump while mounted double jump legendary fierce fight level 50 insane i'm not a big fan of like centaur designs so you might think it's cool i don't frost stallion now that's cool that's cool looking, dude. Uh, it can be written as a flying mount. Changes player attack types to enhance ice. Level 4 cooling. Diamond ice organs. And then jet dragon. From the trailers. Very. Like, this is the end game, pal. You hit level 50. You struggle to catch it. You spend an ungodly amount of resources. I think it's 200. Actually, we can see. And it's the final one, too. Yeah, you, you can talk about level 49 on this, or level 48. You can see the legends and sub-legendaries. 200 refined ingots, but then you move, like, 10x faster than any other flying mount. Like, 20x faster. That's... I, I finally found him. I caught him. And then this is how I was able to explore as much of the map as I've explored and finish this dex and then get it out for the video. Um, I don't even care about KOing it for the drops. And then it has a rapidly fired missile launcher as well. Who cares about the missile launcher? You are here because it is fast. Actually, let me let me end the video by showing you how fast this thing is and how game changing it is to zoop around the entire map like this. You when you've done this, like now you're in the post game. Now you've like unlocked pseudo, pseudo creator mode or not creator mode, creative mode, and you're having a blast. But there's still so much to do. So, like, 137 uh, different kind of species and subspecies of pals. We can also check out Wyvern. Or not Wyvern, Quyvern. If I dismount. I think I'm, like, doing some animation stuff. One second. And look at Quyvern. Quyvern's just the best. But then, uh, the flying. Yeah. You just kind of have a nice little stroll. It's... it's it's nice to be able to fly over terrain like this, still get some decent speed, but nothing compared to Jet Dragon or Jet Dragon. So there we go, guys. Hope you all enjoyed the video. We are stacked and we are about to just like go even harder to explain how I got here, all the gods, all the fun stuff. He's even determined he fights. He's so cute. I love him. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you all have a nice day. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Thank you very much for watching.